Assalamualaikum and a very good day to my fellow friends and lecturers. Today, I have been given the topic of factors that determine a person's academic success. Now, in my personal opinion, self-discipline is the very thing that determines a person's academic success. Now, what is self-discipline? Well, self-discipline basically means a lot of things in a lot of different aspects and can be used in many different ways. For example, having their timetables and constructing their own timetables is a form of self-discipline. They basically, by using timetables, they will be able to manage their time more properly between relaxation and studying. Basically, too much relaxation can lead to slacking off and cause problems in academic studying and too much studying can cause stress and makes you not able to be focused in your classes and studying. So another form of self-discipline is listening closely and not losing your focus in class when your lecturer or teacher is teaching. Basically, you need to discipline yourself to be able to focus and not be distracted by things around you such as your smartphones. Uh, various sounds or environment distractions. This is important as self-disciplining yourself to pay close attention will mean that you will have higher chances of getting what you are learning and not being left behind in the class. Also, you should make sure to make and do your work on time. That's also another form of self-discipline because you need to be able to do your work on time. You cannot be late. If you are late, then you may suffer the consequences and chances are you will also fail academically if you do not submit and do your work on time. So, I think that that is very important for every individual to have in order to excel and succeed academically in schools, universities, college or any aspects of life that involve learning and gaining knowledge.